It's really nice to talk to you about this film. <laughs> what what got you guys involved to start with? How how did it all happen? Well, uh, Nyasa sent me the script and said that she you know, really wanted me to play this character. She said she wrote the character for me. I'm not quite sure if I believe that, but anyway, she <laughs> said she did. Uh, you know, and why not? I washed up, kind of desperate, um, sort of, you know. Uh, wily, uh, rakish kind of fisherman, uh, Irish, yeah, of course, written for me. Um, <laughs> and, and I read it, and I loved the script. I thought the story was 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 great. I mean, the story was obviously it's of that genre, that kind of thriller, horror, sort of fantastical element to it. But I think the the, the thing that struck me about the script was the relationship between the characters and this great familial um, uh, re relationships that develop between. The crew and the the closeness that the the, the the crew feel towards each other and how much their lives depend on each other and and it felt real and natural and essential to the survival of of you know whatever journey they go on you could tell that that was very very important so mm. I responded to that and of course the story was great as well but you know the character you know was was a, an interesting character to play mm. I thought they were all drawn very very deftly and I um, loved reading it. Hmm. What about you? Yeah, it wasn't written for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it could have been. It could have been. Yeah. But it, but, yeah, but I, I, my, I think my agent spent with uh, Nia Saint Khan a couple of years ago and uh, heard about this project and then they kept in touch and then my agent sent the script uh, to me and I didn't know what it was. It was laying there, you know like for two or three days and then I was like I'm gonna read this script and when I read it it was a you know page turner and I, I just I just fell in love with it and then I skyped with uh, Niasa and she had seen a film I, uh, I did the year before a hmm. Danish film called The Charmer so she saw that and then she just offered me the part and I was uh, really happy uh, about it and it was so it, it was so much fun yeah, yeah it was fun yeah, yeah. it was fun I mean, it was intense at times, but it was always yeah. fun. We got on very well. And I think that we created a kind of relationship between us as actors. I don't know if that was conscious or unconscious on, on your part, but on my part, I knew that it was important that, that we had a relationship that you couldn't just say, okay, now so action, and so you turned up. It had to be seamless. Oh, yeah. So I made a conscious decision. Yeah, you, you could feel that, uh, that, you know, you took this part, this role, and uh, made this great ensemble, you know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we all had to, and, and, and you know, and I happen to really like all the actors as well. We got on very well. Yeah. It's all right. I don't, I don't yeah. think you like me very much. <laughs> I'm a bit miserable. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he's he's lovely, lovely guy. Well, that was one of my favorite parts when we talked just before uh, uh, with the rest of the cast, uh, and. The, the chemistry for me was one of the things that sold it. I mean, especially halfway through when they're all connected and they're all seeming like they're actually, like they want her aboard and everything else. Uh, and the, the, ca the uh, sorry, the set apparently, I understand is quite small. They were yeah. talking about that before. How did that feel? Because it, is it a little claustrophobic since most sets are usually quite large? Yeah. I mean, but, but that's, that, that's how you want it as yeah. an actor because the, a boat is claustrophobic, you know, and the film is claustrophobic. So, the, the, you know, that, that just the, put an extra layer for us actors to be I in, agree, you know, yeah. yeah. You don't have to act. It's there. You're in <laughs> closed, confined spaces. Yeah. And you can act a situation um, more easily, I think. You can access the, the atmosphere that you need to create. I mean, all you can do as an actor is, is, is you know, work on your objectives and your, you know, the reality of the situation you're in. And um, if sometimes you have to imagine the, the, the sets, which, you know, it's fine, you have to do it, but we were actually on a boat and it was a brilliant <laughs> set. Yeah. Really good. Really, really and then when we were on, you know, the, um, the, the, the port as well, when we actually went out to sea for a bit as well, that yeah. was... That, that was, was like the first really week, good. right? Yeah, yeah. that was the first week. Right. We so, so we felt that also when we stepped into the studio. So we had been on that boat. So that was also good. Yeah. Was, was anyone good, seasick? 
Yes, it was yeah. someone. I can't remember yeah. who it was. Oh, well, yeah, Rory, 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 the DP, yeah. did he get seasoned? Yeah, I think, so. <laughs> I think he did, yeah, yeah. that was funny. Um, <laughs> that, was the, that, was, that was when we weren't even at sea, you got seasoned. <laughs> <laughs> Just talking about the sea. Um, but, you, but, but, you, but you can bring that movement to the studio, right? You know, the physicality of that, right. you know, the feeling of being on the boat. So that was, that was a good thing for me. The set that. convinced me, like, I didn't, I didn't know if it was a set or a boat or what it was. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I was thinking, we could just shoot that. We could be able to see that. I thought, <laughs> but yeah, no, the effects were, were terrific. I, I thought the creature was... You know, in the sense of an, an alien, you don't really see the you see bits of it, and, and it's sort of which is great because you kind of you're left to your imagination that is what you know really fills in the, in the gaps. And the mm. same way with this, it was kind of beautiful and ethereal and mystical and um, otherworldly, and it, and, it, and it really kind of worked. I think. Me too. Yeah. So, what was Niasa like as a director? What did she have particular Direction for you that that stood out in your mind about the character, the characters. I mean, first off, Niasa is wonderful. She was she's so passionate, enthusiastic, intelligent, mm. and an actor's director. You know, and I think uh, you don't find these directors that are, that are loved by the by the ensemble and the crew. You know, mm. she's like she, she she was the skipper. She was a real skipper of this project, and you could feel that. And yeah. she, she she like. Always, you felt always involved in everything, and uh, she listens to every detail. As an act, when you come as an actor, she listens to everything. She wrote this, and if if I had trouble with something, she was like, yeah, yeah, just just take that out and <coughs> say whatever you want. You know, she she, she there was no prestige in it. Hmm. You know, so that that was really really nice. Yeah, yeah, she's lovely. Yeah, she created a great atmosphere of work on the set. So there yeah. was. You know, she made it clear at the beginning, which I think was great, was you know that this is about work. Mm. Everything else is will get in the way. So yeah, I I, I appreciated that. And um, she, as Ardlan said, she's she's very bright mm. and very film literate. You know, so because I I I watched lots of movies before I do any project. I just watch. Okay, so this movie is about a boat, and it's about right. a guy, and he's or the girl, and the crew, and all the characters have their own story. So I like watching movies that have that I pick up on references from. So I'll watch Jaws, I'll watch you know, you know, other movies set on boats. I'll, I'll watch Alien, I'll watch all hmm. these other things just to see if there's something that inspires me. And then I watched a lot of documentaries hmm. as well. But I had great conversations with Niasa. Uh, about you know the references that she'd put into other movies that you mm. kind of pick up on as an actor and you sort of so you understand what movie you're in yeah um, and I really enjoyed that uh, and she pushes you as well mm. you know just do another one just do this <laughs> no yes and you kind of go okay I thought that was okay but yes and so but you do it and you yeah. as an actor it's really easy to go okay I've done that and I think that's fine but Weirdly, I, I don't ever like hearing, okay, great, cut, let's move on. I like to hear, let's do another one. Because yeah. I, I never know when I've got it. I just never know when I've got it. I don't know yeah. what you like. I always like to push myself. And that, and that gives you a chance to find the core of this scene, you know, yeah. the situation. Because it, otherwise, there's so many things you might miss right. not doing it again. Hmm. Uh, it's all in the repetition, I think. Yeah. yeah and yeah. she's open for that. And yeah, she, I love doing... Yeah as many takes as I can possibly get. I'll be there all day. Yeah. Like, I, can, I can get this better. You know, it's not always better, but... Uh, you, always, well, you, <laughs> always, you always kill it at the first. It was really... <laughs> well, I don't know, but... I learned that. really much from watching you, you know, as a young actor. <laughs> to an old guy. <laughs> you know, a young actor, old guy, you know. No, no I don't do it like that. <laughs> 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 but no, it was fun. I think Ardlan was terrific, very instinctive actor, which I, I I like to think I am as well. So when you're working with someone else who's on the same kind of energy um, wavelength as you, it's great because the scene can go any way. And you know, the thing about being an actor for me is that you listen, you 
listen to what other people are saying because some actors really set and they've got the lines and they know what they're going to do and they know what they're going to say but it's really about being in the moment and reacting to what someone says so you know what lines you've got but it's how you react to the other person they'll change something so you have to change hmm. and that was I thought was great about working with, with Ardala is that he's very very instinctive and in it really in it and um, that was great that's fantastic well thank you both very much thank you, thank you so much